Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dry the Matador, and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash the like button, and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Crazy Boss V31, Weez GNZ Gaming, and even Moldy Superman YT. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go check them out and we go to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to install the Shoot Dodge mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always make sure that you do download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. Now this mod does require native UI, so make sure that you download the latest version. Now this mod is outdated but it still works. I have already tested it today and it still works. So all you got to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Now, if you do not have a scripts folder, then simply right click, go to new and create a new folder and name it scripts. Make sure that you do spell it scripts correct and make sure it is all lowercase. Open up your scripts folder and now let's begin. Open up your release, also known as native UI extract folder. Select both files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Then now lastly, open up your shoot dodge extract folder. Then drag both files inside your scripts folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Now we will be coming back inside this folder. So I can show you guys proof, okay? We will need to change a few things in here, okay? So this is 26.0. Okay, remember that. Let's exit and now just minimize that exactly. Now right click, refresh your desktop, and I'll see you guys in the game. And now we are back with Franklin. So when you're in the game, okay, now you gotta press J. Now when you press J, then your game will freeze for only a few seconds, okay? So when you're in the game, you can use any weapons you like. You can use pistol, assault rifle, and even RPG. Now let's start with RPG, okay? Now when you are on ground, you can press J. Then now you'll simply do that, see? Boom, boom, like that, see? Uh, you can press J again. Then now rocket launcher like that. Now, remember what I told you to remember 26.0. As you can see, when you jump and shoot, okay, I'll bring up a, a weapon. When you press J and shoot, you can only jump like a little bit of distance. So when you, if you want to go further out, okay, the, the, you know, the distance, as you can see, you can only go a little bit of distance. So, if you want to do that, okay, then exit out of your game. Okay, exit. And now go back to your Grand Theft Auto V folder and go to your scripts folder and go to your shopdodge.ini. Okay, and I'll just change the jump force forward to whatever, okay. Um, I'm gonna, I will say 40. Okay, now exit out of this, go to save. And then exit out of this, right click, refresh. Now let's go back in the game. And now we're back again with Franklin. So 
as you can see before when we jumped it was basically just from here to here that's it now let's try it with a modified file now like always press J and now you gain wolf freeze for only a few seconds and as you can see I jumped even further out see now let's do it again okay okay press J and you have jumped even further out and I can see more and more and more and now you'll be staying on the ground see you're staying on the ground too and now you can shoot while you're on the ground and then now if you want to get up just press W now this will work on RPGs as well uh, when you walk press J shoot your RPG then now you're still on the ground then now you can just carry on and shoot like that okay and then now uh, when you want to get up just press W and there you go so basically guys um, you would need to modify the i9 file if you want to get this fully fixed okay and we're back on our PC so I have opened up this file for you again so you guys would know okay so like always, okay, if you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments, and I'll be more than welcome to help you out there on that. Now, uh, with this, okay, you can change the key by changing this, and now the, the time scale as well, you can change all this if you want to. It's totally up to you. But leave these two on to true, okay? You can change all this if you want to. It's totally up to you. So, I hope you guys did enjoy that. If you guys need any help with any other mods, then let me know in the comments. But unfortunately, I am not active inside my YouTube comments. So I will leave my Discord server link inside my description below. And make sure that you do join the PC modding support server. So with that said, if you guys did enjoy this video, or if this video was helpful, then smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials. And I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching, peace and I'm out.